we're gonna go into who is the next Kate Nye. And we're gonna start right now. So for those of you who don't know, right away we've got to talk about who is Kate Nye? Who is she? Why are we even referencing her? And she is somebody who just burst onto the scene of American weightlifting, okay? So around 2017, she started to really rise rapidly. I had like a subpar performance, not subpar, but not a, an amazing performance at the 2017 American Open where she actually got beat. But then from that point on, it was just like this huge spike in her trajectory all the way to the point where you know, she goes to Junior Worlds in 2018 in Tashkent, uh, Uzbekistan and gets silver at her first international competition. She goes into these other international competitions. She wins a Pan American Championships in Guatemala, putting up a huge snatch, a huge clean and jerk. And prior to that, she had her competition in Fiji, Junior World Championship there, where she goes out, she snatches this huge Junior World record, puts up a huge clean and jerk world record, sets the total world record, wins the junior world title, and then follows that up with that competition in Pattaya, Thailand, where she wins the senior world title. Okay, so senior world title in Thailand, and then Kate and I follows that up with going into Tokyo, and she goes out and she wins the Olympic silver medal. So what does that mean, right? So we, we have, we know Kate and I had this really, really steep trajectory. We know that she's a phenomenal athlete. We know that she has good technique. She has good coaching is in her corner in the start of her career and now when she went to the Olympics. She's dealt with adversity throughout her young career as well. She's had issues that she's overcome and that has helped her become an even better weightlifter. And then finally, she has a huge clean and jerk. One of the most consistent things with young lifters for them to be able to transfer from that youth level or junior level onto the senior stage is they have to have huge clean and jerks. Okay, Kate Nye has a huge clean and jerk. She's clean and jerked like 137, 138. When she was in Fiji as a junior, she clean and jerked 137 as a 76K lifter. So she's lifted as a 71 where she won the world title. She's lifted as a 76 where she's won the, the junior world title, set junior world records. And as a 76, she was the Olympic silver medal. So that's the quick background behind Kate Nye. But what does this have to do with our discussion? Okay, what I wanna go into is an athlete named Katie Estep. Okay, so Katie Estep is a young lifter. She's 17 years old and she's been on the rise for about the last year. Everybody's sort of been noticing some of the numbers she's put up. She hasn't done anything absolutely absurd yet, but she's really started to come up the ranks. So much so that she she made the, the junior world team this past year, which was actually ironically held in Tashkent, Uzbekistan again in 2021. And in May of 2021, she's a 55K lifter. She goes out and she she gets eighth place. So she's got essentially three years left as a junior, goes out and she gets eighth place at the 55K division. She puts up a 77K snatch and a 97K clean and jerk. You know, solid numbers, nothing incredible, nothing amazing, but good solid numbers. She had a lot of crazy travel to get there. And that just starts to, to, to give us that interest into who she is. Okay, she's, she's a youth that's competing on that junior level. Now we start to see as she's coming up the ranks, Katie Estep, what is she doing? Okay, she goes to Youth Pan Ams and she's a 55K lifter. And I started to really take note of her after uh, her performance in Uzbekistan and spending time with Kevin Simons, who is her coach. So I started to take note of what she was doing and talking to Kevin about her. And Kevin's got a couple other freak athletes. He was Harrison Morris's coach who coached Harrison Morris to clean and jerk, you know, 193 kilos as a 77K lifter when he was 17. So a youth world record coach and Kevin Simons, who coached Harrison Morris to that youth world record. And so that comes back to play as we get into August. Okay, we go to this Youth Pan Am Championships. And so remember, we've got to think about Kate Nye's trajectory. We've got to think about Kate Nye's trajectory, that steep incline where she went from you know getting beat at the 2017 American Open to following that up with this really solid performance in, in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and then from 2018 to 2019 just blew up, set junior world records, won the world championship. Okay, so what does that have to do with Katie Estep? So Katie goes to Youth Pan Ams and I think she goes out and she snatches like 82, clean and jerks like 103, 105, somewhere in there. Uh, I think it was around 103, but she was dealing with severe quad cramps. You know, she was still capable of snatching that 82 kilos, which is a big snatch for a 55K youth lifter. And that clean and jerk's very, very solid. That's a huge clean and jerk for a 55K female. Okay, but that brings us, that sets the stage now. Now we can see 
All right, we go into Youth World Championships here in 2021, and she's she's a month and a half removed from that meet in Mexico at Youth Pan Ams, and now that's setting the stage for her growth and her comparison to Kate and I. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here's her first lift here, opening up at easy 80 kilos. Good solid lift, and I think one of those big things, I, I, I've, I've been on this Chinese weightlifting kick lately where uh, watching some of the cues that they give, it's always this chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up. Chest up, not chest back, not chest down. But the chest up off the floor, chest up in the catch, staying vertical with that chest the whole time. And you can see here, Katie does a good job with that. She never gets too far behind the bar, maybe a little bit on this lift specifically, but good solid opener. And that opener was, I think, three kilos over the next closest competitor. So she's clearly dominating her age group, okay? Now, we're gonna start to see as, as we get into uh, deeper into this competition. Okay, so she comes back out for her second attempt. This is at the Youth World Championships and she's got 83 kilos on the bar. And, and you know, her first lift was solid, nice, nice and comfortable. Let's see here, she's got, she has really good movement with her knees right off the floor, holds good position. Cake, right? Easy, easy. Very, very minimal movement. Very minimal noise in that in that execution. Now she's 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 got that. Uh, she's at 83 kilos. So now she's what six, seven kilos up on her on her competitors. Here's where things start to get interesting. Is that now coaches want to start to put a little bit more pressure on her coach, Kevin Simons, one of the best American weightlifting coaches out there. He puts a little bit more pressure on her and he wants to see what, what, what happens. I have seen footage of Katie in training snatching 90 kilos. Now she might have been 55 and a half kilos or 56 kilos, I don't know. But she has snatched over the world record in training prior to this. So she's got that confidence. She has that ability. She was a gymnast with her background similar to Kate and I. Okay, so she's she's got that, that explosiveness built into her. She's got that good, strong stability and she has that mental strength. Now let's see what ends up happening. So they set the standard, okay? The, 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 the world record is held by someone from North Korea and they decide they're gonna chase that, nor that, that North Korean's world record and they wanna jump to 89 kilos. Okay, so they're gonna jump to 89 kilos. So they're gonna make a six kilo jump. Remember, they know what she's done in training. They know she's capable of sniping this world record. Let's see what happens here. And that's the big factor is that she's calm, cool, and collected. And Kevin has had other youth world records uh, broken under his watch. Remember too, that they've traveled, you know, 30 plus hours to Saudi Arabia to do this, to go out there and break this record. So let's see what happens here. And she just absolutely smashes the 89K record. Now, I think to put this into perspective, you know, she wins by 12 kilos or 13, I think it's 12 kilos. So she wins the snatch by 12 kilos, not just the total, the snatch by 12 kilos. We also have to remember now, based off of this comparison to someone like Kate and I, who has done phenomenal work on the senior level, who has this sharp trajectory path and it has become one of the best in the world, if not, you know, a top, if not the best 76, I would say she's she's very likely top one or two 71, 76K lifters in the entire world. She's got the world championship to stand for that and she's got an Olympic silver medal. Now the thing here with E-Step that I wanna put into some, to some per, per, that I wanna put into perspective is comparing her now to someone like Jordan De La Cruz. Okay, Jordan De La Cruz is someone who my own athlete, Haley Riker, has competed against and with multiple times. I've been on trips with her. She is automatic. She is, I would say, the third best female in the US behind Sarah Robles and behind, and behind Kate and I. Okay, so Jordan De La Cruz, who in her past has been a 55K lifter. So we can start to play the game and see, okay, E-Step, how good is she? How good is she really in comparison? And so we, we can break down some numbers. In 2018, okay, so three years ago, and De La Cruz is, is older substantially, about, uh, what, five, six years older. Even if we go back to 2018, she's still two to three years older in comparison to E-Step. In 2018, as a 55K lifter, she did an 86 and a 112, and that was at, I believe that was in Tashkent, okay? So 2019, this is as a 55K lifter. 
And that might, it was either Tashkan or Ashgabat in Turkmenistan. 86, 112. Remember, she just snatched, Katie Estep just snatched 89. Jordan De La Cruz, who's one of the best top three women in the U.S. at the senior level, snatched at a much older age in the same weight class, 86 kilos. And then in 2019 at the, the Pan American Games, at the same weight class, 88 kilos. Then you go to the Pan American Championships in 2019 in Guatemala, she snatched 91. Okay, so 2019 as a 55, she snatched 91 kilos as a 55. That's only two kilos above what Katie Estep just hit as a 55. And then now to give De La Cruz, you know, De La Cruz is a total machine, total beast. Could have, like, I, I thought was for sure going to medal at the Olympics. She is top three in the U.S. She's amazing, uh, really well coached. To be really good as a senior weightlifter, you have to have a big clean and jerk. And for a youth lifter to have a monster clean and jerk, that's key for them to be able to make these teams at the senior level. And essentially, what we're gonna see now during this clean and jerk session is what her clean and jerk is. Okay, so Katie comes out, opens up right at 100, uh, just absolutely smokes this on her, on her first attempt of the clean and jerk, absolutely destroys 100 kilos. Um, easy, easy opener. That solidifies her winning that, that youth world championship, right? So now we can really start to get into it. And we've got to remember here, we have to remember that when we're talking in comparisons, if we can compare her to De La Cruz and De La Cruz's uh, clean and jerk as a 55. De La Cruz is clean and jerk 112, 112 uh, in Lima at the Pan Am Games 109, uh, at the Pan Am Champs 116, which is huge. Okay, 116 is huge. And then as a 49, she's clean and jerked 111. So just that comparison there, that to, to sort of set the tone. Now we're going to get into the, the second attempt in the clean and jerk where we're going to start to see, okay, can she creep up to that 110? Can she set the world record in the total? Can she start to push these numbers in the 55K division as a youth? That will probably get her onto a team as a senior at the senior level if she's able to push these numbers. Okay, so here she is on her second attempt. We got 105K on the bar. So they take a jump from 100 to 105. Pretty good, you know, that's a pretty substantial jump. Good pull, good catch. She's extremely strong out of the bottom position just smashes that that jerk right looks like it's 90 kilos huge huge lift and so she comes out 105 now to hit the total she has to take 109 okay so she has to take 109 to hit the world record total and really start to push some crazy numbers she's got good technique there too doesn't get too far behind the bar knees move really well really smooth good tight dip Good solid jerk. She's she's awesome, right? So they play the card game. They work everything through. Now they've put 109 kilos on the bar. 109 kilos. That's the number that De La Cruz hit. 109 when she was a 55K lifter at the Pan Am Games. Now, De La Cruz has dropped the weight class. And she's gotten better going down a weight class. Which is scary for my lifter, Haley Reichert, who has to deal with Jordan De La Cruz. Because she's an absolute phenom but to make that comparison to a youth 55 now we see her coming out she's hit 89 in the snatch now she's coming out at 109 kilos so we can really start to see all right what happens here what does she end up doing a little double bounce a little forward maybe heels popped a little bit there but great recovery and just smacks that jerk huge 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 lift Here's Zygmunt shaking his head. Huge world record. Okay, so we know she's done 90 in training. Okay, so she went out, broke the world record at 89. We also know she's done 110 in training. Okay, I'm fortunate enough that I can talk to Kevin Simons regularly and she's done 110 kilos in training. So they knew she was gonna be good for that 109, which would give her the youth world record total, the youth world uh, world record in the snatch. But where does this come in, in the grand scheme of things? Because as a youth lifter to transfer really well, she's very likely going to make the next senior team with that total. That total is absolutely bonkers, right? 89 and 109 as a youth 55 
is insane. What's even more insane is now she's going to be making these teams as she's, you know, getting into that junior level. She's going to have two or three years left where she's still a junior and she's making these senior teams. She's going to very, very likely make next year's senior world uh, championships. That's going to give her that experience that she needs. And that's where that comparison can come into play relative to Kate Nye. If you saw what Kate Nye did after she, she competed in Uzbekistan as a junior at her first international meet and she got silver, she blew up after that because she realized how capable she was of being one of the best in the world and that's exactly what happened now with Katie Eastep. She went to Uzbekistan, got eighth at this past year's Junior World Championships. Then she goes to Youth Pan Ams and dominates and then she goes to Youth Worlds and lights everything on fire and she's putting up numbers that you can compare to other world-class lifters in the 55k division and she's still only 17 years old. The other key factor is you've got to have a huge clean and jerk. She has that. You have to have a really really good coach she has that. She has a coach who I believe is one of the top three American weightlifting coaches in the country. I believe he's proven with what he did and how he developed Harrison Morris. And now he's doing that again with various other athletes like Megan Stray and Katie Estep. So now he's really, really coming back with a female with Katie and just putting out huge, huge numbers. And on top of that, she's dealt with adversity. She's dealt with cramps and been able to get through those massive quad cramps and still go out and clean your huge numbers. And those are all telltale signs that if she can stay healthy and she can continue to maintain this incredible progress, I believe Katie Eastep in the future is going to be a senior world champion. I believe she will be an Olympian and I believe she will do incredible damage at that next international level. So I'm so excited to see what she does and to see how she can really, really push her numbers. Now, I really hope she moves up to 59 and that will get Jordan De La Cruz to move to 55 so that Haley, my weightlifter, can stay at 49K, but I don't foresee that happening. So that's one issue where Haley's gonna have to keep going head to head with Jordan De La Cruz because of Katie Eastep. But that's just a total aside and that's part of that competition. But it's really, really exciting to see where women's weightlifting in the United States is heading on the shoulders of a lot of absolute phenoms like Kate and I, and in the long-term future, probably Katie Eastep. So if you want more content around weightlifting, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.